Hey everyone, uh, my name's Andy. My channel's Finding Value. If you like making money, subscribe to the channel. We look at undervalued assets, typically in the commodity sector. If that sounds something that entices you, click subscribe. Give me a thumbs up for this content and leave comments and questions below on anything that you have. Maybe I'll answer with a video. So I'm gonna go into oil and gas for this update. Let's just jump right in. This is the oil and gas sector that we're looking at. I did a lot of oil companies here. Uh, so let's let's look to see what we've got here. I've got a nice little oil and gas presentation. <laughs> uh, so this is the dollar and the dollar is getting hit. It's coming back down. I didn't look today to see where the dollar was, but uh, the down, you know, the, the momentum is to the downside. Uh, contango oil and gas, what do we do here? I can tell you what I think. We've got nice big move higher, and then this is a pullback, which is sideways. And see how this guy wanted to come down, but the buyers brought this right back up. And then we've got two small down days. I like it. I think it's strong and it's gonna to continue to move to the upside. SM Energy. Now this thing is ultra bull. I don't know if there's any sellers in this thing, if they're just all closing their shorts or what, but this thing is absolutely on fire. The pullbacks are basically just moving sideways at best. Looks absolutely strong, looking fantastic. Uh, SM, I, I don't know what to say. Would I buy it here? Maybe. I mean, this thing's breaking out probably six months, 52 month highs here. Because, I mean, this broke right here and it's moving to the upside. So it looks fantastic. Talon Petroleum, another one, looks fantastic. Nice move, sideways move, up, moving on up. Uh, looks like it may continue. Maybe we pull back a little bit. Either way, this thing looks strong as heck. Same with Centennial Development. These would have all been fantastic to pick in, pick up down here and just hold on. And even picking them up now, they're still looking fantastic. 50 days all across in the 200 days. These things just look like they want to float higher. Grand Tierra Energy. A little bit, it's, we're coming into some resistance here, it looks like. So we, we, we pull up, pull back, pull up, kind of this stair-stepping pattern. And we're starting, to, we're starting to kind of slowly move on up. I'm getting a little tired, but we'll see what happens. Still looks pretty good. Same with Tellurian. Same move. This is a big move. It has to digest because this was a many hundreds of percents. And it's just digesting that gain there. We'll see if it breaks this 50-day and if it moves on up. But it looks good. Uh, Athabasca Oil. Uh, it looks like this is a, the same kind of stair-stepping pattern. Up, stair-stepping. And it's moving fantastically. And the pullbacks have been pretty muted. So uh, lots of buyers buying this. Look at the volume down here. Lots of people buying it. Not many people selling it. That's what you want to see. Very strong. Brilliant uh, Energy International. Look at the volume over here. They're just buying the heck out of this thing. Broke the downtrend line. Absolute moonshot. Now, this thing's jumped quite a bit, guys. So be patient here. It, if you see this thing pull back some, it may pull back quite a bit. You know, be patient. Uh, we may have to endure a little bit of a pullback here. Africa oil. What I like seeing here is you can kind of see this thing bouncing around, putting in a bottom right here, coming up, higher lows, higher lows, came up, COVID slam, boom. COVID slammed this thing down, and we're coming back up. It's working its way back up. It looks pretty good. This looks like a bottoming process that wants to turn and move to the upside. Looks fantastic. Give it some time and be patient. Petro Technologies, a oil services company. Lots of volume down here, people buying the heck out of it, and it's coming up and hitting this downtrend line. So you might see some resistance, it may chop sideways for a little bit before it breaks up to the upside. The XPE, another oil service company. Again, we're, we're coming up, we got this kind of resistance line coming through here, or downtrend line. We're gonna have to come up, hit it, and break through this thing. But it's looking pretty good. Uh, Crew Energy, this thing was sold off into the depths of a canyon down here. Uh, that would have been a very good time, like a very good time to buy it. I know they've got a lot of debt. This thing's still working its way up to even this bottom, we'll call it, um, chart, chart pattern line. It's got a ways to go to move up. So this thing's putting in, putting in some good moves. So that looks good. Birchcliff, another Canadian uh, oil company downtrend line it's right there kind of paused probably waiting to to bust through that downtrend line 
So that's looking good. A lot of the oil and gas guys, these things look fantastic. I'm a big oil and gas bull. Uh, these are mainly oil companies that I went over this in, in this presentation. Uh, they're diversified. You've got some U.S. guys, got some uh, Canadian oil companies here, uh, some other ones in some other portions of the world, Africa and and whatnot. But they all look very good. Uh, I I think this sector could be one of the strongest sectors in the next commodity bull market. I like all of these companies. I hold every single one that I showed you right here. Uh, so this is the bulk of my portfolio uh, of what I hold in oil and, and natural gas. I do own some, some natural gas like. Ontario Resources, Southwestern Energy, uh, maybe one or two more that I can't think of, CNX Energy. So I own those. Um, these look fantastic. I like them a bunch. Uh, again, this isn't financial advice. It's financial education. I'm just showing you that we do have some big trend line breaks on some of these companies that we're coming up on, and you may see these things pause a little bit. If oil continues to go up, and I think oil could do incredibly well in the back half of this year, uh, I don't. I, th I think $100, $100 oil, it might be possible this year, uh, but definitely probably 2022. So maybe give it another year. And I think, I mean, it's possible we could break it this year, but we'll see. Uh, but definitely like 80, something like that oil, 70, 80, 90, it's, it's in the cards. Second half with all the stimulus, all filled in the bank accounts. These people are going to come out and they're going to buy, 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 travel, travel, travel. That's it's pent up demand. When it comes back, I, this is going to move quite substantially uh, in terms of oil price. If you guys like this channel, subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up for the content. Appreciate you guys listening. This is Finding Value.